Beverage's Department of Agriculture has told the pet land in Kennesaw to stop treating customers sick pets at the store owner's home and to take them to a veterinarian instead. Now, the Kennesaw location considered one of the most successful of all the Petland franchises. But despite that, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says repeated customer complaints now focus on a new set of allegations, Randy. That's right, Sine and Russ. We've already reported how customers complained to the state this pet store sold them terribly sick animals. Another told the Better Business Bureau a salesman sold them supposedly exotic cats that experts say were simple tabbies you could find in a, any animal shelter at a fraction of the price. But these new allegations involve a pet store actually playing the role of veterinarian. She was sick. She couldn't breathe on her own. Um, she was in an oxygen tank. She, she doesn't look it now, but just four days after Penelope came home, the French Bulldog puppy was diagnosed with pneumonia. But perhaps that shouldn't have been a surprise to Christy Gonzalez. Look at the medication she says Petland of Kennesaw gave her the day she paid for her puppy. It didn't have the dog's name, it didn't have, you know, an ID number or a French Bulldog, it didn't have anything on it, it just said K9. So I thought that was a little odd. A little odd, she says, became very odd. According to her complaint to state regulators, when Penelope wasn't responding to the medications, the manager of Petland Kennesaw said he would take her to their store-approved veterinarian, Dr. Walton Waller of Canton. But when Christy later wanted to see her dog, she said the pet store manager objected. He said that she was doing um, so much better, she was breathing on her own, um, that now she would be moved to the puppy clinic. And when I started asking questions about the puppy clinic is when he told me the puppy clinic is actually at the owner's home. The owner's home? Mm -hmm. The pet store owner's home? Yes. A second customer reported a similar experience. Ashley Powell complained to regulators. Petland Kennesaw owner Lamar Parker expressly stated that he personally had been treating Daisy at his home and was providing Daisy with breathing treatments every few hours. I cannot imagine a lawful scenario where it would be okay for the owner of Petland or a Petland associate to treat an animal at their home before or after purchase, really. Should the owner of the pet store be treating that animal at his house? The owner of the pet store should not be treating that animal at his house unless it was at the advice of the veterinarian that they have there on staff. And only if the animal has not been sold. Department of Agriculture regulator Mark Murrow says the state told Petland to stop using the owner's house to provide veterinary care and refer the Ag Department's findings to the State Veterinary Board July 22nd to investigate whether anyone at Petland was practicing veterinary medicine without a license. A spokesman for the State Veterinary Board had no comment. Oh my gosh, look at that one. In a statement, Petland's attorney says the company conducts its business at all times with the highest degree of integrity and honesty and in compliance with all laws and industry standards. The company promised to look into the customer complaints. The statement ignored our question about whether Lamar Parker treated customer pets at his home. But Petland Kennesaw's preferred veterinarian confirmed that Parker did just that. I talked for a long time by phone with Dr. Walton Waller. He agreed to meet me here at his Holly Springs practice for an on-camera interview. But a few days later, he called back saying his partners told him to cancel. So he did. But earlier on the phone, Dr. Waller said he put an end to all those trips to the puppy clinic at the pet store owner's house. He told me it left the wrong impression, and customers must now handle all transport of sick dogs or cats to his clinic. He also says he now requires all Petland Kennesaw puppies from out-of-state breeders be unloaded first at his clinic, where he says he makes sure they're x-rayed and quarantined if necessary before going on to the sales floor. Do you like her? Dr. Waller also says he's certain he personally treated Christy Gonzalez's sick French bulldog and prescribed her medication, even though the pill bottles she was given simply say canine. And I've got 30 prescriptions for from Dr. Waller, and I've never met him, spoke to him on the phone. I've never had any interaction with this man at all. So again, two complaints that we know of with the Board of Veterinary Medicine against Dr. Waller and another report to the board from the Department of Agriculture about the pet land owner using his house as a puppy clinic to treat customers sick pets supposedly without their knowledge. And all this has given critics of pet land Kennesaw even more information, even more things to be upset about over there. So is there any comment tonight from the vet board? No, I mean, all their work is done uh, confidentially and we won't know until or unless there's some sort of action taken. 
and we'll let you know if that happens. And the last time we talked about this, you said there was really no chance it would be shut down. No, the Department of Agriculture says that it would take a lot more than this to even begin to shut down a pet store, and they would give them multiple chances to right. correct whatever mistakes they found. So that's not going to happen. Randy, thanks. Okay.